what's up hello yeah welcome back to the complicated entertainment channel and in today's video we have a few things we're gonna talk about a few things we're gonna get into okay and yeah and the first thing i want to get into is doja cat y'all doja cat has been facing a lot of backlash in the media lately um on social media a lot of people have been you know clowning her for how she's been looking lately they've been talking about her you know her behaviors and saying she's you know been a little weird Okay, y'all, so Doja Cat was at a lot of Fashion Week events over the weekend, and here is what she was wearing, okay? This is her look, okay? Um, they say, like, look, just look at it, okay? It looks a little bit creepy, a little bit off, but let's get into the comments, okay? Let's get into the comments. They saying she looked 10 years older. What happened? Humiliation rituals be right in our faces. Mmm. This really isn't normal. So, as you can see, y'all, they just clowning her and just been going on her. But I do kind of feel like it's a little ritual. You know, she doing her, you know, stuff. And in Hollywood, you know, A-list celebrities go through that, you know, those, you know, rituals and have to do, like, different symbolism things you know what i'm saying in the industry you know it's it's a whole it's a whole lot of whole lot of whole lot of about that stuff but you know yeah it is kind of interesting but doja cat is already a weird girl she's already weird she already has weird aesthetics and she always be looking a little bit you know interesting anyway but i would definitely say this past weekend she's been looking a little scary <laughs> a little bit frightening a little bit weird okay and you know typically i can usually you know i can i can i could deal with doja cat's weirdness but it's just a little bit uncomfortable a little bit uncomfy if you might say but yes y'all how do y'all feel about doja cat is she creeping you out does she have your skin crawling is she making you feel uncomfortable you know like how do you feel about her do y'all feel like she's doing her symbolism stuff you know what i'm saying because she's in hollywood now you know she's an a-list celebrity now you know what i'm saying so she been really you know what i'm saying she, she has to do this stuff anyway but yes y'all doja cat is a weird girl anyway but hey let's go ahead and just move on to this next topic all right i'm getting scared <laughs> Okay, y'all. So let's go ahead and talk about Nicki Minaj and she's breaking more records. All right. So as you all know, like I've been saying consistently and consistently, I'm going to keep updating y'all on her achievements and, you know, her successful, you know, stuff on her music and everything. So, you know, let's get into this next update. All right. So Nicki Minaj's song has been in the top 10 for seven weeks. Okay. It has been in the top 10 for seven weeks and yes like that is big that is so big that is major the fact that she's doing this 15 years later you know what i'm saying i see why they're trying to end her i see why they're mad you know what i'm saying because they can't end her <laughs> like they can't and a lot of these artists are never going to be here 15 years later making top 10 number ones none of that <laughs> so the fact that she's doing this 15 years later is amazing it's amazing and you know a lot of people been saying oh my god nikki cannot get a solo hit and she did it again and she did it again and this is a stable song because y'all know nikki minaj used to be free falling out them out the, off them charts now you know what i'm saying but she got some radio play now she getting them heavy streams you know what i'm saying it's viral on tiktok like you know and even though she doesn't need to rely on those things to get number one because she did that without all that stuff before she got two number ones without all that crazy radio and all the crazy you know what i'm saying promo like she did that without all the help you know what i'm saying like without all the you know the you know, the you know the help of the industry and all the other stuff going on but you know this is an organic hit this is what an organic hit looks like okay an organic hit has real fan love it doesn't have fake streams it doesn't have labels buying streams buying youtube views it doesn't have the labels you know sending bots to your music and that's what a lot of people have nowadays is bots they don't have fans they have bots all right and yeah and when you don't have bots you get global success for example Nicki minaj is top 10 in the uk as well which is global success because like i've been saying before she just has it <laughs> like she just has it i don't know what like <laughs> Top 10 in UK is amazing. Um, the fact that this song is global, I'm not even surprised. I'm not even surprised. Like, 
not surprised at all. And like I've been saying before, the way this song is performing so well almost two months later is just great and it's amazing. And I think that we need to, you know, give Nikki her flowers while she's still here. A lot of people, you know, don't do that. And that's the reason why I feel like a lot of y'all are going to regret it when she retires. And then y'all going to be trying to, like, give her flowers then. And it's going to be too late. It's going to be too late because, you know, let's not. But anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and move on to this next topic. All right. Okay, y'all. So this next thing I want to get into is how people on social media have been body shaming Rihanna and Nicki Minaj. Okay. And it's like, y'all are so weird. Y'all are really going to get online to do this to these successful women. Okay, you know what? I get it. I get it. Like, the fact that y'all already body shaming her lets me know where you already are in life. So, I don't even have to go too hard. But let me just go ahead and, you know, just talk about it, okay? So, you know, these women have just had babies, okay? They have just reproduced humans, okay? Um, And your body is going to change. Like, Nikki, has, Nikki just gave birth two years ago. Rihanna has been some months that's still new that's to that like these are women giving birth okay y'all are so used to people giving birth and hopping back on that surgery table right after having babies which is a problem but the fact that y'all are even online discussing women's bodies like this is insane especially black women like these people sit on twitter all day long and just don't have a life like you don't have a life and then there was a tweet that was literally praising Rihanna for her looks. And then somebody goes and says, she built just like Nikki, but y'all wouldn't dare call her legs. What is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? Like, I- I'm, g- I'm genuinely concerned for y'all at this point because it's getting sick. It's getting sick. I, want, I-, I guarantee you, I guarantee you, their mother looks like she's built like a refrigerator. Okay. All these people got so much mouth about these people's bodies. Leave pregnant women alone. Leave women who are pregnant or who have had babies or who have, you know, had kids within the past few years. Leave them alone. Why do y'all feel the need to body shame them and you know what just happened to their bodies and you know what they have been done and you know what they have gone through within the past few years like let's stop being clueless now okay let's stop being clueless because a lot of y'all acting like y'all have no brains and actually y'all don't have any brains it's just uh uh, you're an airhead (laughs) it's just air up in there it's no brain there's no brain it's just air and 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 nothingness (laughs) literally and for most of the time it takes women years to get their body back okay it takes them years and the fact that they're even able to have a baby and to, to even be able to be pregnant in itself is a blessing The fact they were able to deliver their baby safely and healthily, you know, the baby is healthy, that's a blessing within itself. So y'all body shaming, it's annoying, it's weird, but y'all are weird anyway, so I know how y'all do anyway. So I'm not not even shocked at y'all, I'm not even shocked. But yeah. But anyway, y'all, how do y'all feel about these weirdos body shaming Nikki and Rihanna for no reason? Like, like, I'm so annoying. How do y'all feel about that? How do y'all feel about the other topics that we discussed in today's video? How do y'all feel about Doja Cat being a little weird? But you know, that's her and I love her for that. But how do y'all also feel about Nicki Minaj's success? She's been top 10 for seven weeks now. And yeah, be sure to go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, tap that bell so you can get an alert every time a new video is posted. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video.